Yes, I've just opened this forage mix, um, which I showed you in my previous haul. So I thought I'd uh, do a review as promised. It's this one, the Noah's, uh, the natural mix, and it's made by Rosewood. Suitable for all small pets. Yeah, now this is not a, uh, a main mix, it's a treat mix, so you don't get this on its own. So as you can see, it's got flat peas, and it's got uh, all these lovely plants, flowers. Oh, that should be, I don't like giving them these sharp bits, I'll take that out actually. Yeah, so it's got all these natural plants and stuff like that, um, flowers, petals peas, corn, yeah, so it's, uh, right, can there is Arby's up at the moment, so why I've got him, I'm going to give him a little bit of this, just a little sprinkle uh, in this little treat bowl, just see if he, uh, and if he, uh, if I can, I'll film him eating it, so yeah, it's, uh, it's got these, uh, Little bits of biscuity things in as well, which I don't know what they are. I think there's some sort of apple. They feel like apple anyway. If you do get this, I'm just be careful with these bits because they're sharp and they can pierce. So, yeah. So, I always take these sort of bits out if I see them in forage mix. So every time you, uh, you put a bit out in, in your hamster's bowl, just uh, do it in a separate bowl first and then just fish out all the sharp bits. I think when people are making these manufacturers, they forget that hamster's pouch and sharp bits should not be put in for hamsters. Because they can seriously uh, pierce an all in them, so yeah. And then we'd be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, apart from that, I'm, I'm a bit... Uh, I'm not too happy about that. I thought there'd be no sharp bits in it, but... I think the best forage mix out there is still definitely the Nature's Touch, because there's no sharp bits in that. So, yeah. So... To be honest, I don't think I'd buy this again, even if the hamsters go nuts for it, just because I'm worried about the sharp bits. Because um, if you can see, quite sharp. So if you do decide to get it done, just be careful. I got this from Tesco for £2, but... Uh, yeah, just be very, very careful with this. I think in future, uh, when I want to give them a forage mix, I think I will just stick to nature's touch, to be honest. There's a... Uh, <coughs> those sharp bits I just don't like. I think it goes back to when I had uh, my very first hamster, hamster, Samantha, Sammy. Um... Because uh, I still don't know, this is going back to 1998, I still don't know what um, what she died from because she was fine one minute, took her, out, took her out of a cage to put her in the carrier while we were cleaning a cage and uh, next minute my little's been come shouting me, I come in and she's uh, blood pouring out of her mouth. Now, in them days, there were no Harry Hamster, no, nothing like that. You had to just pick the mix what they had at the pet shop and they had sharp bits in and stuff like that. So, there's three, three options why she died. She was only young. I only had her three months. So, she was only about five months old. <clears throat> so, um, the first option is uh, cotton wool bedding. Yes, I know. But in them days, there were no curve fresh and people didn't know about cotton wool bedding. I mean, there were no internet either. So, I think most hamsters was on that in, that, in them days. And, um, yeah, so so that could be one option why she died, through the cotton wool bedding. The second option is because of the food mix. She could have pierced the pouch with some sharp bits. So I'm always worried about sharp bits now. 
And the third reason is just, I don't know, it's just, maybe she just had an underlining illness that I weren't aware of, but it's just a bit strange that she was fine one second, jumping around in a carrier waiting for me to do a cage. The next minute, blood pouring out of her mouth. So I am tended to swear towards the, the hamster food, sharp bits, piercing a pouch, or cotton wool bedding. So I am always extra careful with things like this. So um, please, if you do buy any sort of forage for your hamsters, or you see any sharp bits in the hamster food, just be very careful. If you see anything like that in an hamster food, this is really sharp. Then just take it out. It's just not worth your poor little hamster, you know, piercing the pouches. Um, but apart from that, yeah. So this review, I, I mean, to be honest, I don't think I'd buy it again. It's not really. If I'm, I'm quite surprised with rosewood because they're supposed to be good, but I think this is just one of the cheap mixes, to be honest. So no, I don't think I'd buy this again. So. Yeah, I think I'll just stick to nature's touch. <laughs> so, that's it for now, guys. Bye. There we go. I'm just giving a bit, a bit of that forage. And again, he's tucking into it. I'm beginning to think this little lad will eat anything. <laughs> he's getting to be a jolly good eater now. And he's putting weight back on. He put on a gram when I weighed him last night. So he was just about to go back to bed, so I caught him just in the right time. Oh, as you can see, again, he clearly loves it. He loves his little natural mixes. There's a nice big piece of pea. You can't pouch that, it's too big for you. I should have broke it now. Oh no, he's having a good he's having a nibble of it first. <laughs> he's, he's leaving that. <laughs> you want me to break it in half for you, sweetheart? I'll just break it in half for him. There we go. I've just broke it into quarters for him. That piece of pea was definitely a bit big. Yeah. That's another thing, if you have dwarfies, just consider breaking up bits of, you know, especially in the muesli, if you're giving them Harry Hamster or something, just break up the big biscuits. You don't have to break it to powder, just a little bang with an hammer, just to break it into half or something. Because I noticed since I've done that, he's been eating his food a bit more because he can manage it. Now that piece of pea though is big and he was struggling, so I've just broke it into quarter and now he's been able to pouch it. Oh, look at it. Look at him. He's enjoying it. Oh, my God. Oh, well. I may not like the look of the for forage, but obviously the hamsters have a different opinion. <laughs> I'm going to give Matilda hers later on because she's in bed and I don't want to disturb her. So I'll try her on it after. But this little guy's usually up at morning, so I can get him better, you see, to demonstrate for you. But, uh, yeah, he, he loves it. <laughs> yeah. So just remember, if you've got little dwarfs like Robos or Russians, it, just help them along a bit. If you see that they're eating the bis uh, leaving the biscuits, don't think they don't like them. Just give it a... Because it wastes his food. Just try and break it up for them a little bit. Just try. Or even mush it up a bit if you want. But what I started doing is just getting a little ammo, putting them in a bag, the big pieces, and just giving a tiny tap and it breaks them into half or quarters and then just put them back in the bowl with the with the normal food and I'm finding he's eating it now so yeah so it does work guys <clears throat> and I think he's had enough now so we'll just have a quick nose here how much he's had <clears throat> well he's had quite a bit I'll pop this in his main mix in a bit so yeah I mean, that's another thumbs up from Brazabi. <laughs> so that's it for now, guys. Bye.